Hi, my name is Michael Sean Degnan. I am 54 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I am an artist and work for an art dealership called The Open Channel. We often create art and make it available for movies. We do custom pieces for people's homes, and uh, we live and work in our home here in El Segundo, which is a beach community, Manhattan Beach, Marina Del Rey area. I grew up in upstate New York. My family owned a dealership that sold boats and motorcycles and snowmobiles and hovercraft and everything with an engine. And I raced all of those things all of my life. I was sponsored for Ski Do and um, Yamaha Wave Runner. I raced uh, Wave Runners for a while. I've crashed everything. Um, Anything with a motor, I've crashed it short of an actual airplane. However, I did crash a hang glider. So, in my adventures, I've paid the price along the way, but it's been an amazing ride, and it's still an amazing ride. Um, so, the scariest thing that ever happened to me... Uh, well, the time that I was the bravest and the uh, time that was the scariest, uh, I've been incredibly fortunate in a juxtapositional bad luck kind of way to be the first on scene of many accidents in three times in my life I've had an opportunity to save a life um, the first time was in South Florida and a man drove across the road in front of me off a bridge and into a canal the car was upside down I was the only one there it's three in the morning Fire trucks are a long way away, so I did. I got in the water, swam down, and uh, worked uh, for 20 minutes trying to free him from the back seat of an upside-down AMC Hornet, you know, Gremlin. It was a boxy thing. So that was time one. Second time, it was a snowstorm. I pulled a man out of a car just before the car was crushed. I got hit by another car and thrown 30 feet into a stream and walked away, survived. You know, again, crazy good luck to survive being hit by a fast-moving car. Crazy bad luck for being in the way of that fast-moving car. And the, um, the third time, a drunk driver ran a light, smashed into a bunch of cars on August 12, 2009, and uh, I was faced again with being the closest and only one willing and went into a car and extracted a man dirt while the car was on fully engulfed and on fire. And in that one, it, the car exploded. I, I suffered some serious injuries and life changing. Everything changes. Um, so, going back to my my fear. All right. So I was bravest in these moments of going in, you know, and and helping. Um, the fear came, and it was thirty years ago. Yeah, going into that upside down car, the lights were on, the blinkers were going, and it's a canal. It's it's a black canal at nighttime. Um, I developed a phobia of being trapped in a car. In all of this mountain climbing, skydiving, everything, and I often actually have to deal with it a little bit as I go over a bridge or by a waterway. Um, taking on that deepest fear would be good. It, it would allow me to move on. I, I, I'm fearless. I have no fears otherwise. And uh, my personality is extremely outgoing, adventurous, uh, humorous. I guess downside is I, I've learned through so much uh, survival to not take little things too seriously. And you'll find you know people will get frustrated if I don't take their little... Cadillac problems and take them serious. So anyways, that's my story and I hope that I came in under my five minutes. Let me see if I missed anything. Yeah, that looks like about it. It's an adventure. It's a story. Um, being trapped in a car underwater, that's my phobia. Cut.